kwa sababu ya kwamba ni mambo na maendeleo na pia vile vile tunasema katika mashujaa haya leo ambayo tunasherekea tujue kuwa vijana pia ni mashujaa na tuone mipango kambando ya kuhakikisha vijana wamepata ajira na vijana wamepata miradi ambayo itawawezesha waweze kuwa wa Kenya ambao wako na heshima na wa Kenya ambao wanaweza kujitegemea kwa sababu tukifanya hivyo tu ndio tutaweza kuweka ni taifa kuwa na umoja kwa sababu hizo majana tulikuwa na sitofahamu na hatutaki sitofahamu tunataka rais mheshimiwa rais vile alivyofanya kuweka umoja wa Kenya na kuondoa hizi sitofahamu katika taifa la Kenya asisitize umoja wa Kenya viongozi waweze kushirikiana na niweze kusema mheshimiwa Raila na mheshimiwa Ruto leo nitasema pia ni mashujaa wangu kwa sababu wakati kulikuwa na zilizala katika taifa letu la Kenya waliweza kuongea na wakasema lazima nchi iwe na utulivu lazima nchi iwe na amani na hiyo ndio tunasema ni ushujaa kwa sababu kuwa shujaa ni kuweza kuleta amani kuleta maendeleo katika taifa kina mama pia wasiwacho nyuma katika nyanja za uongozi shukrani kina mama sasa hivi tuko na wasaba lakini tunasema tunataka kuwa na kina mama 24 wakiwa magavana katika jamhuri yetu ya Kenya the honorable Mishi Mboko. There's something quite interesting about the celebrations today. It is because the person who will be commanding the parade that is left in Nkana, Mwagadi, is actually the first female commanding um, officer for uh, the, um, uh, what you would say, uh, the parade uh, still. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you see, very fine, thank you. Uh, it's a very good day today. It's uh, Mashuja Day. We are all Shujaas in our own right. We come here to celebrate and to also enjoy our diversity. All the way from uh, you know the farthest part of this country, people have flocked here in numbers to really enjoy and see our diversity, even as we celebrate our heroes, our national heroes that made us get to this level. Yeah. What are your expectations today as the president addresses the nation from God? Uh, very basic. To celebrate the legends that live within us, the legends that have helped or rather touched the lives of others in one way or another. Um, I mean, in the yester years, we used to celebrate those people who fought for independence. But there is post-independence. The first independent are people who've really worked so hard to put the Kenyan flag on the map, flying very high. And that is, uh, you know, the athletes, uh, the athletes, the athletes, uh, the athletes of this world, of uh, this country, the football legends, uh, the political legends, and even great leaders, you know, that have really done a lot of things in this country, in the recent past, especially. Uh, in different sectors. Yeah. But in a political transition of some sorts, you know what you did in the National Assembly and what the Senate did. What would be your message to Kenya? I hope that even the President will celebrate the heroes that have fought for the independence of our independent institutions like the National Assembly. That heroic act of uh, uh, the Honorable Mtuse and the 117 members that signed, of our 184 members that signed, and then the 282 that voted uh, uh, to eject the deputy president. Those are heroes. Like, we have come of age to stand for the constitution. But at this point in age, a sitting deputy president can be impeached? Really? Then that is a great uh, milestone you should for our constitution. We should actually be honored as heroes. Because now, <laughs> it's a good milestone. I mean, like, a sitting deputy president being discussed in the floor of the house. And we, really, we also thank the president. He didn't interfere with that process. Mm -hmm. He did not call us. He did not instruct any member to, on what to do. Because uh, he appreciates the fact that we are independent. You know, and, and, and I think parliament as a whole, both the National Assembly and the Senate, should be celebrated. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Yes. Yes.